I agree completely with what Lisa said at the beginning of her answer, that Pierre Poiliev simply offered up the exact wording that Greg Fergus had asked for, I simply withdraw, and then he didn't repeat the other words, he says, and I replaced them with what I said before. That was the exit ramp that the leader of the opposition, the leader of Her Majesty, His Majesty's loyal opposition mm -hmm. in the House, is an extraordinarily important institution. Before you get to the point that Greg Fergus got to today, you've got to go through a heck of a lot of other steps. This was not only precipitous, for me it was manifestly, obviously partisan. And I don't come at that lightly. I remember when Greg Fergus got caught making a very partisan video. I was one of the people who defended him. I, you know, I've been a house leader in, in Ottawa. I, I was a deputy house leader both in power and in opposition in Quebec City where it could be very rough and tumble. But I've never seen anything like this, Vashi. Never in my career have I seen such, in my view, blatant partisanship from a speaker. I think that he's disqualified himself from the position and I am indeed one of the people who defended him. When people were calling for his head after that video, I said, it's a rookie mistake. Let him prove that he can be autonomous, independent, act you know, fairly with everyone. Today, he failed completely. And no surprise, of course, the Bloc Québécois was applauding the speaker for going after the Conservatives, as was the NDP. It's in the natural order of things, but overall, it was a an awful performance by Speaker Greg Fergus. He, he just lost control today. Now, the Conservatives walking out poses a simple problem for them. How and when and on what conditions do they walk back in? Because they're never going to get a majority of people voting to get rid of Fergus. But Fergus should do the right thing and simply step down. He cannot, with any credibility, based on my many years' experience in both provincial legislature and in the House of Commons, he cannot continue to do that job credibly himself. He made a huge mistake. When Pondyev said, I simply withdraw, he should have ended it there. Instead, he went after the leader of the opposition. Unbelievable. Yeah. I've never seen anything like it.